During certain calendar periods, i.e. the spring, bass have a tendency to hover around tightly clustered objects such as boulders, timber, and rushes. One of the deadliest methods for taking these fish is with Strike King's Spittin' King. That's a good fish. Oh Woo! man, what a pig. And I'm over these rocks. <laughs> this is not a good situation, is let's it? Let's see if let's see who wins this battle. Come on, over the rock. Oh, this is a monster fish too. Swim out of there, please. I think. Okay, go which way you're going to go. <laughs> okay, I think we're off the rock. Yeah. Okay, over the top, over the top. Oh, look at this fish. <laughs> <laughs> over the top. No, no, around that one. Around that one. <laughs> It's a gargantuan. Oh man, look at the size of this fish. That's a holy smoke truck. <laughs> and I'm pulling this thing over to the top of rocks. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, oh that looks close to sick. Oh, that's a big fish. Come here, girl. Stay still. There yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you one thing. Give me my gamma line. Give me everything that it takes to get these big fish in the boat. Come to Century Lodge in Osborne Bay, folks, because this is where you're going to catch these fish. Holy smokes, Rocky. This thing, I had to drag it over the top of the rocks. Oh, big fish. Come on, get another. Oh, thank you. Oh, what a dandy, dandy fish. That is what you come to Osborne Bay for, right there. Big smallmouth. Big, big fish. Oh. <laughs> I told you, we started it on top water, we're gonna end it on top water. What a dynamite fish. Good lord, pretty fish. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you. Folks, I wanna say thanks for watching us this week. Listen, Ken Rayner and I have had an excellent time. We've caught literally hundreds of smallmouth, no doubt about it. Big win. We started right here on this spot to open this show three days ago in dead calm weather, or relatively calm weather. He stuck a five on top of it. We just stuck another dandy fish there. You can do the same thing. Come on up to Century Lodge. Come on up to Osborne Bay. Come on up and catch some of these giant smallmouth. Remember, practice CPR, catch, phone, and release. The future fishing is in your hands. Ken and I had a good time this week because we were able to catch and release these fish that have probably been caught and released before in the future. I'll tell you one thing, if you keep watching Simply Fishing, we're gonna teach you how, where, why, and when to catch these fish. Ken, did you have a good time? Bob had a great time. <laughs> it don't get any better than this. And I'll say, you got a chance to see an authentic show being shot in an authentic manner. This is it, I mean, everything. From the cast to the hook set, you see me getting out of the water. <laughs> I saw you on your knees is what I saw you. Yeah. You're going to plug Simply Fishing in every week in that T-bar, aren't you? Yeah, I'm telling you. My kids, they get frustrated with me. I got it out five times a week. We'll see you folks next week for more Simply Fishing. Remember, please, please respect what we got. This planet's here on loan. We don't own it. Take care of it. Yes! <laughs> Man, I want to thank Rich and Kay and Holly and Randy and everybody back at the lodge because without them, we couldn't be doing what we're doing right now. Whoa, you 